In today's news, Leon Edwards kicks an insane full court trick shot. The UFC welterweight champion is going viral for another highlight kick. In a video posted by Tim Simpson on Instagram, Edwards hit a nasty trick shot while jogging. Check this. Good morning, run. Luke Rockhold sends a warning to Jake Paul. Hopping on IG Tuesday, Rockhold reposted a Paul tweet, which reads, Mike Perry's heart is undeniable, and he's a combat legend. He has dominated countless opponents with his fists, including UFC champion Luke Rockhold, who is the same size I am. Rockhold replied, writing, You should fight someone your own size for once, Jake. Anywhere, anytime. I lost 20 pounds to fight Mike in his own game. You put on 40 pounds to fight him in your world. Send the contract, man up and fight someone your own weight. That's not a senior citizen. I'll put an end to your bullshit. Daniel Cormier reacts to Jake Paul's call-out of Alex Pereira. Speaking on the most recent episode of Good Guy, Bad Guy, DC shared his honest take on Jake's recent call-out of arguably the most dangerous striker in the UFC today, Alex Pereira. There, Cormier mocked Paul for his comments saying the bigger they are, the harder they fall. While he hasn't fought anybody bigger than him or even his size, DC also added that Jake will probably get knocked out by Poetan. So, 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 so that's the issue, right? That's the issue right there. Uh, first off, Pereira's going, hey, my brother, Chama, Chama. Does Pereira know two words? I mean, Pereira knows my brother and Chama. He's saying, hey, Chama, Chama. But listen, Jake Paul finished that quote chail with, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. How can you say that, chill when you have not fought a bigger one and failed a bigger one? The only ones you failed is a 5'8", Nate Robinson, a 5'8", Tyron Woodley, now you just failed a 5'9", Mike Perry. You haven't beaten anyone big. You fought Anderson, but Anderson weighs about 190 pounds at max. They said Jake Paul weighed 222 inside the ring on Saturday night. Chael, he fights Alex Pereira. He's going to sleep, right? Darren Till scolds Mike Perry after his loss to Jake Paul. Till, who's been linked numerous times to a fight with Perry, was especially critical of Perry's performance this weekend. In a recent interview with Submission Radio, Till said that Perry looked like a total amateur in there. I thought it was, the, from the clips I've seen, it was just atrocious. I didn't even expect that like low of a level from Perry. It was just it was just low level strength in the box and Jake Paul was gassed after the first round. Uh, I just, to be honest with you, I don't even know what Mike was doing myself. Like, what he was actually doing in there like he just looked like he was he was fucking stumbling over his feet and shit like that so like uh, i'm actually quite speechless to be honest with you it impressed me jake was terrible and so was mike jake was blown out of his ass after the first round and mike just was stumbling over his, his own two feet like it looked to me like mike has never had or been coached by anyone like he just looked like a total amateur in there like he really did i get look I get he's tough and I get he's durable, but that just only takes you so far. Yeah, he's the king of violence in bare knuckle. But mate, there's nobody in bare knuckle. The, like, there's nobody there. He should have beat Jake. He, maybe he shouldn't have. Jake was 40 pounds heavier than him. Juiced out his nut. But still, he probably should have put up a better fight than he did. Also stating that the fight looked fake to him. I'm going to be honest, it was a weird fight. It was a weird fight between them. It feels like it's all fake. I'm not gonna lie. You felt like it was a bit scripted, like it was predetermined. Yeah, I do. Curtis Blade scoffs at criticism that he has a glass jaw. In a recent interview with MMA Fighting, a few days ahead of his interim title clash against Tom Aspinall at UFC 304, Blades fired back at people who say he can't take a shot. In his words, people are like, Blades has a glass jaw. I got knocked out by Derek Lewis, Sergey caught me, but I wasn't asleep, and Francis Ngannou, but again, I wasn't asleep. Three heavy, heavy hitters, and I ate one from Mark Hunt, a real overhand. I ate that. I don't think I have a glass jaw. I just think it's heavyweight, and we all hit hard. 
It's almost a different sport when you compare it to the other weight classes. The things you can get away with, you can flick out a lazy inside leg kick at other weight classes, and if you get hit with a hook, it's not the end of the world. Not at heavyweight. That's what happened to Alexander Volkov. He flicked out a lazy one with Derek Lewis at the end of the fight, gets knocked out. If you watch O'Malley against Vera on UFC 299, if that was heavyweight, it wouldn't have went five rounds, I promise you. The way O'Malley was hitting Vera, that's not going past two rounds, just because they don't hit as hard. Sean O'Malley goes off on quote-unquote mentally weak Conor McGregor. It started when McGregor laughed at O'Malley for claiming that his positive tests for Osterine were potentially due to cross-contamination. So I got I got suspended a couple years ago, and it's it always drove me crazy anytime people would bring it up because like you did steroids, I didn't do shit. And I remember when it happened, my low levels were so low, the scientists were like, I mean, it has to be a tainted supplement. But we tested all those supplements that I was taking at the time, and there was no nothing in there. It was not in any of those supplements. And it was me, Tanquino, and Kyler. We all trained at the same gym, all tested, all levels so f***ing low. None of us took anything. We all swore on our lives. And I, I remember asking USADA and the UFC, I'm like, can it be transferred through sweat? And they said, no, not at this time. There's no studies. It's never happened. So Just recently, great. studies came out. Scientists, athletes, it happened. It happened on a, some Someone's like knee break or knee band. Someone was sharing knee brand. They tested for Austrian and they tested the knee band, but it came back that Austrian and that those kind of tainted supplements can be through sweat exchange. It f***ed with me for so long. So when Jeff Nowitzki texted me the other day, he texted me, he said, yo, check this out. I didn't want to look at my phone. I saw his name pop up. I had a f***ing heart attack. I looked at it. He sent me the article. He said, look at this. And we know, we know exactly who it was or we have a good idea me tank and kyler all trained comp training jujitsu these guys that cl well, they would they, they were open the about stuff, it yeah. they were on they took it they take it and i was like bro that was such a relief after mcgregor responded by posting a laughing emote o'malley had enough of mcgregor's trolling responding by writing i miss the old connor sad face you fell off bud still a fan though i actually don't care you are one and four in your last five i'm still as excited to watch hope the toe is feeling better followed up with Connor isn't in anyone's goat talk. Entertainment, yes, but skills, no. Has a really good left hand, shit cardio, weak jits, decently athletic, mentally weak, drug addict, needs rehab, one in four in last five fights. Still a fan though. Hope toe heals up. Petty Pimlet shares his prediction for the Bobby Green fight. In a recent video posted to his YouTube channel, Petty predicted that he's gonna finish Green in the first or second round via knockout or submission. Next fight, I don't need to say much about, do I? Yours truly, Paddy the Baddy Pimlet, taking on Bobby Green, Bobby King Green. You know, everyone's talking about this fight like it's a striker versus grappler match. You know what I mean? It's not. I'm an all-round MMA fighter. And to be honest, I think Bobby is. He's got very good grappling defense, but I'm going to shut a lot of you haters up with this performance. I'm in the best shape of my life. Not much weight to lose. I just can't wait to come out and put this egomaniac in his place when I put hands on him. He's gonna know about it. He thinks I'm just gonna come out and be shooting for me life. I'm gonna come out and take his head off his shoulders. So I'm predicting a first or second round knockout or submission. And the submission will be after I've dropped him or hit him viciously with ground and pound. It's time for today's top memes. Third place was found over on Facebook and was posted by Robert. Second place was found over on Instagram and was posted by As Shopped As It Gets. The top picked meme was found over on Reddit and was posted by MMA Fan. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.